Hey guys, so today I'm doing a tutorial on these icy poles. So they look like this, and I will be showing you how to make one that like the one that doesn't have like a bite, but then obviously I can just easily make a bite afterwards. So yeah, this is what they pretty much look like, and yeah, so you'll need um some clay for the outside, like the outside bit, or the coating, whatever you want to call it. A cookie cutter that has like um some little curves into it. You can use a flower cookie cutter, but my flower ones are too big, and this one's just perfect because if you can see, that's what it actually that's what the top looks like, but then the bottom cuts out this shape. So I'm just going to use this, and that's for the bite. Um, you're going to need some color for the filling. I'm using a white color, well, it's just white, but yeah. And lastly, a toothpick. So if you want the little lines in that, then I'll show you how I'll show you guys how to make that as well. So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab your bowl of um, you're the main color and you're just going to shape it into like a arch sort of shape so and then you just want to flatten it until you get like a shape like that and then what you want to do is you want to break or yeah actually we'll do that last um you want to grab your cookie cutter if you're going to do the bite otherwise you just can just you can just skip this part so once you've got your bite out like that then you want to grab your color for the filling just roll it out and flatten it a bit and then just flatten flatten it onto the um icy pole break off the rest and just try and smooth that out as much as possible you could even like get the little cookie cutter and well that's not gonna work but kind of try and smush it in I guess so yeah, that's the that's pretty much a basic icy pole. All you have to do now is just break a toothpick in half. You can use scissors for this, but you can also just break it like what I'm doing. So break it until you get it about the right size, and that's like pretty good. So just stick it in, and you can pre-paint it white like this, or you can paint it after you're done. So that's what I like to do. I like to paint it after, like after you finish baking. So. Yeah, um, that's it. You can make, you can cut this once you're done, or you can cut it perfect now, but I'm just going to leave it like this because that's pretty much how I want mine to look like. So, yeah, you can add an eye pin or whatever you want, but I'm just going to leave mine like this. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick and easy tutorial. Um, Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials on things that, oh, I forgot to do the lines. I am so sorry. Okay, um, how embarrassing. Okay, so all you have to do is make a line with your toothpick like that. And then roll out. Wait, not roll out, but do it one. Do another one. And you want to do that on both sides in approximately the same area. So yeah, that's really basic. Um, that's all you have to do to achieve a little icy pole. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. As I already said all the stuff, but yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.